morning, my good friends from around the world, and especially our people in Australia. This is a special show. Uh, we are interviewing Mr. Wayne Taylor. He is running for a seat in the, uh, as a senator in the state of Victoria for the Legalized Cannabis Party. Welcome, Mr. Wayne. Thank you for having me, Ryman. Good yes, my name is Ramon Granados. I am broadcasting from Perth, Australia. This is a great pleasure having you with us, Mr. Wayne. Yes, it's a beautiful place at Perth. Yes, it is. So tell us, Mr. Wayne, how did you end up uh, in the hemp industry? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I've had a few issues throughout my life and uh, found that cannabis was a good thing to help me uh, calm myself and calm my aggression. So pretty well much used for uh, mental health issues. Uh, although I'm not uh, currently on uh, medical cannabis as such, as the cost of medical cannabis uh, put it out of my reach for a low income earner. Um, yeah, pretty well much uh, 37 years or something. So in the last uh, good probably 20 years, I've been an activist within the cannabis uh, community. So working hard, fighting to uh, free the green leaf. Well, we talk about 37 years being an activist in the in, in the cannabis uh, uh, environment. It, 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 we can label you as a soldier of cannabis because you are a soldier of the prohibition, right? Yes, I uh, started in Perth there myself. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I'm, I am very grateful and blessed to be in this city. Perhaps it's the most beautiful cities and safer cities I ever been in my whole life. I have been blessed to be in over 60 countries and working over 15, and I couldn't imagine myself living anywhere else. <laughs> yes, a beautiful uh, city, beautiful yes. city. I uh, spent pretty well much 30, 30 of my years there. So oh, wow. uh, but, uh, I'm back home in Victoria now, trying to uh, continue the fight. Well, um, I guess uh, this opportunity that uh, you're giving uh, to Australia to give your, your history about your motivations to run for a seat in the Senate is, 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 is a big encouragement and, and become a target of many people that are not happy that people uh, can bring that light to darkness. So um, what is your motivation for you to become a, a, sen a senator for in Australia? Well, I, I see we need a lot of changes here in Australia. And uh, when it comes to cannabis, I, I, I see that uh, we have a future where it could create employment. It could also lift us out of uh, the recession that they refuse to say we're heading into. So legalizing cannabis, I can see it as creating jobs, uh, boosting the economy. Uh, also, will be good for healthcare. A lot of the money that we lose to the black market at current could be funneled back into the uh, society and back into education and healthcare. Uh, jobs, as I've said, we've got jobs with production, jobs with sales. There's all sorts of jobs to be created through legalising cannabis. Um, I, I don't just see cannabis as my only issue. Environment's a big issue to me. Housing's a big issue, um, job growth's a big issue, and everything, you know, I'm like every other Australian, it's just cannabis is the one I've got behind because that's what helps me the most. So uh, I believe it should be free for everybody. I believe that we should be able to treat cannabis the same as alcohol, and that we should be able to grow our own the same as people are allowed to brew their own beer. But Wayne, when you said about all those environmental issues and and other aspects of the our day by day uh, uh, life in our country, it, cannabis can become the epicenter to resolve all those challenges. So I, I like you, I'm also a member of the party, and I have been preaching that uh, our party should not be a single issue because cannabis it is it affects every single aspect of the 
social, technological, financial, economical, and political aspects of our of our current challenges. So you are not far away from 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 your target and your goals. Absolutely, absolutely, Ramon. Um, as you know, cannabis or hemp is uh, used in the building industry. So growing hemp's are uh, going to save us a lot of trees and. Uh, also, we've got uh, hemp fuels that could be made as well too, so that will cut down on our uses of fossil fuels. Um, dead set against uh, coal. I don't see the reason why we're still using coal within our country or supplying it to other countries. So renewable energy, energy is the way to go. Yep, hey, young, you're spot on there, mate. There's a lot of changes. It's not just, it might be one policy, but it covers a lot of aspects of different parts of our life that could be changed through legalization of cannabis. Exactly right. And that's why Mr. Wayne, this uh, humble supporter, has, um, is giving uh, all, the, all the help that I can provide for people such as yourself and others can not only run and, and, and get a seat in, in the government, but also to become a voice for the millions of people that are not aware of the power of this plant. That's the way. Uh, I'm probably not the one of the best educators, but I'm a marketing person. I come from a marketing background, so I'm great at putting it out there and letting everybody know I don't make the information, I just share the information, as, as I say. Um, it's very important that people realize we've been left in the dark ages for over 80 years. Uh, alcohol was once a prohibited substance that changed. Maybe they got it wrong back then. Maybe it should have been cannabis that was uh, allowed to be let loose within society because it doesn't create domestic violence. We don't get angry on it. There's no aggression involved with it. You mix alcohol with it, yet yeah, sure enough, then you're going to get aggression. Then you're going to um, end up with more accidents. You're absolutely right. You get three stoners, you make a rock and roll band. You get three drunkards, you start a fight. That's right, yes. <laughs> cook up a good meal instead. Yeah, exactly uh, right. That's the only thing worry about stoner is the refrigerator. But um, quite honestly, Mr. Wayne, the issue is that most people are not guilty that for not knowing about cannabis. It is, it is a huge propaganda machinery that is behind this provision. And there are many multi, many uh, multi questionable motivations why we still keep this prohibition up and running, especially in this time when the United States itself it is dismantling very rapidly this uh, this problem, this problem that they they made for the whole world. Of course, countries like uh, like France, China. And other countries did not follow, uh, including Canada, they did not follow the call of the prohibition. And they are currently the largest providers of answers um, in that regards. So um, if our Australian government would take a stand and look at this potential uh, possibility that will make us even richer and more uh, advancing solution for our society, then we could be talking about something else. So I congratulate your effort. I congratulate your, uh, what we say in Spanish, your courage to stand up. Yes. And I wouldn't like to um, stop uh, or finish this uh, interview if I don't ask you, what message could you sell? What kind of message would you send to our decision makers in this moment? Uh, get cannabis legalized, get Australia back on the road to success. You know, there's so many industries that could benefit through it from, um, oh, how do I say, the, the uh, restaurants and that could be serving it up as a meal. We've got uh, hemp paper, we've got hemp building materials, we've got hemp fuels, cannabis bars. I would rather go down the pub and have a bonk <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, vote vote uh, one for the green leaf and uh, let's make a difference to this country and get it back on track. Thank you, Romain. Thank you to you, my man. Uh, it's been a great pleasure, your intensity, your passion, your what you are risking to speak up 
you deserve to be there and to be to you know to express what you have in your in your chest to lead uh, our country to a better future and a greener future for all exactly that's one for all and all for one thank you Ramad. love and love peace you. brother love and peace thank you yeah <laughs>